Hello, hello everybody. This is Joanna from Shining Mama, and um, this is day 15 of our journey from sh to shine. And I would like to invite you today to honor your home. And maybe you notice that um, this cycle of shine we didn't really go through stepping up, honoring, igniting, nourishing and empowering because it uh, felt better to to put some uh, other order into uh, into our cycle. So I did that and I would like to invite you to also uh, use this information that I give uh, in your own way and feel what resonates with you. So I would like to invite you to use this um, information and everything that I uh, put into the blog and on the videos in your own way. So if something uh, doesn't resonate with you or you feel like um, this is something that you would never do, just look at it and maybe uh, some things that I'm saying you're going to do later or never. <laughs> Um, and if you resist some other things, if it makes you pissed off or something, <laughs> just look at that because um, I notice in my life that uh, when I'm resisting something and especially when it pisses me off, <laughs> the, there is something there that uh, it's keeping me um, small or, or there is something that I don't want to... Um, transform or for example I had a lot of resistance when I was learning Dutch I had resistance to all kind of things and now I'm thinking what was that all about um, but it meant for me at that moment I, was, I couldn't see it but it meant for me that actually I had to go uh, over some obstacles which were in myself I was resisting stuff like natural stuff for the Dutch language, like uh, they say uh, s 3 and 20 <laughs> in place of 23 or other or just uh, making some words short or other words or combination of words. I don't know what was that about. I have no idea. But now I realize, and now that I use all these all these things and I have no resistance anymore, I realize there were some some steps that I had to take in myself to go upper and upper into my into my development. And I believe that every day we evolve and we learn. And so the things that I'm saying here, if it pisses you off, just look at it and do look at why you would resist to nourish your body or to step into your shine or to do something for your home or I don't know everything that I present here um, is my intention that it helps you um, get better into your body and um, make yourself shine <laughs> and uh, so if you have resistance to any of it, of it, just look at it and ask yourself why. Maybe you can journal or because I heard some of you said, oh well, uh, that didn't doesn't work out for me. Every time that you are trying to um, um, to say this is not going to work for me because or I'm not going to do that, I'm not going, I can't take care of myself because and there are all these kind of things that that actually they are like um, things that we have in our mind and some other thing that I would like to say here um, because it, it is about honoring yourself and honoring your home is um, 
the first time I was in a in a plane, it was absolutely horrible for me. I there was there was it's a very big story behind it, which I'm not going to say here. Be uh, <laughs> be <laughs> I'm I'm not going to say it. So, um, but I'm going to write a book one day. But anyway, I was extremely tired. I didn't sleep for two days when I got into that plane, and um, I didn't even notice that I was in the plane until we took off. So I didn't hear anything uh, from from uh, what you're supposed to do with stuff, and it was very small plane. I don't even know if. Uh, I suppose I missed that some, somehow, but anyway, <laughs> um, the second time I was in a plane, I heard it, and they say at one point, um, when when in in trouble, um, please put the mask on yourself first before your child. And at that point, I didn't have any child, but it pissed me off. <laughs> I thought. How on earth do you expect me to to let my child die or be in a in a very difficult situation before I save myself? I mean, how do you expect me to do that? And I understand why they say that. And there is another big piece of why I don't think that it resonates with me still, but it has something to do also with how we take care of ourselves. Because yes, we can take a lot of things, we can take a lot of, of struggle and we can take a lot of uh, bullshit before we fall down. Much more bullshit than a child could have. Even if you think that children are strong, no, that's not true. But the ones who are mothers among us, I would like to invite you to consider that there is a point of no return when you don't take care of yourself. And when you reach that point, you're no use anymore if you don't come back to the place where you, you can nourish yourself. Because a broken mother is no mother. So that's, that, this is something that I also had to learn and I resisted a lot this idea. But now um, I feel that I feel when I'm coming back, when I'm coming very close to this place of no return because I was, I had a lot of burnout in my life and some were bigger than others. But since I'm a mother, I had two points where I just broke down completely. I, I, I was very sick for two months before I started with the green smoothies. That's another part of, uh, of what I want to say. But um, I was so sick. I was really sick for two months and I couldn't take care of my child. The only thing that I could do was lay in bed with, with big fever and uh, I had like three kind of uh, flu uh, after each other and and another point was when I had uh, another um, sick, um, I had like uh, uh, smallpox I think they, uh, they call it or at least they think it was that. I think it was a big detox, but that's another story. But when we are in that point, it's not possible that we take care of our children anymore, especially for the single mothers among us, because I learned it on my own skin. Then I had to have all these friends coming over and my child didn't understand anymore why I couldn't play or why I couldn't talk to him. and. And just laying in bed, I couldn't read to him. I do. I couldn't do, do anything. So, yeah, I learned on my own skin. If you reach the point of no return, it's better to go back while it's still possible. Before you go on the other side and just fall into this abyss of. So that's why. Uh, the, the, that's why I also decided to do all this shine spiral uh, 
process because it's very important that we really take care of ourselves and um, I don't prioritize myself above my child I will never do that ever because he's small and he cannot take anything <laughs> that I could take but um, when I'm close to the point of no burnout then I have to take care of myself and I can do that now so yeah that's an invitation for you too so if you feel resistance that's what I wanted to talk about it today if you feel resistance to anything I say look at it and look at why where is that resistance going and if the resistance is um, defending a point of yourself that should develop or if you find yourself resisting some to do something good for yourself look at that with a lot of attention this is my invitation for today and I will see you tomorrow